In this video, we'll discuss if Mural is the right tool for your customer journey mapping project. Let the show begin. Hi, I'm Mark and welcome to the Service Design Show. In this video, we'll talk about if Mural is a suitable tool for day-to-day -day use uh, around customer journey mapping projects. If you haven't seen the first video where we created the basic structure of a customer journey map using Mural, check it out over here. At the end of the video, I'll talk about some of the pros and cons that I found uh, when using Mural for customer journey mapping. But first, let's dive in and I'll share my screen and show you some of the more advanced features that are, I think, essential for any tool that you want to use on a day-to-day -day basis to actually run customer journey mapping projects. So we're back in the map that we've created in the first video, the mother of all maps, the basic structure of a customer journey map. If you have this, you can expand it basically to anything you want. And the first feature that I think is essential for any serious journey mapping tool that you wanna use on a day-to-day -day basis is the ability to collaborate and share. And luckily Mural has a very big pink button which says share and allows you to invite teammates and also people uh, outside of your organization to see this map, uh, edit it, collaborate uh, on it. And it even gives you the option if we click here on manage to um, define if somebody is able to export it, duplicate it, invite people. So you can, um, you can change a lot of settings around sharing. Sharing is really what is really well integrated in Mural. Um, so that's, we can give all the points to Mural for the ability to share and collaborate on maps. So the next thing we want from a good journey mapping tool is the ability to change states in a map to indicate where things are changing because our journey map isn't a static image. It's not an artifact, an end result. It's not a deliverable. It's like my friend Daniel Jurman says, it's a change plan. So we need to be able to indicate where things happen. Mural offers a few options to do that. Um, we could, for instance, uh, use border, uh, the ability to change uh, the borders, like we could indicate that uh, the dotted border indicates stages that we're working on and or there that they are in progress so we can use maybe a uh, background color uh, that we want that this we need to remove this or this this is work in progress or we could do something like um, uh, add an icon which is over here maybe um, work let's see what it finds with work uh, hammer or I don't know. Uh, yeah, let's let's use a hammer for work in progress. So there are a few ways that you could indicate uh, states uh, of of cards, which is really really important. Now the next thing that is really important for a good journey mapping tool is the ability to see version history uh, revisions, and uh, the reason why you want to uh, have Revision history is when you're collaborating, not if, but when you're collaborating with other teammates, you want to see what people have done, how the map has evolved. Have people uh, uh, added additional research insights that they promised they should do? Uh, did they actually log in to, to view the map? So again, this is really well baked in into Mural. They have this icon over here, which shows activity and... Um, you see everything that has been done with uh, the map and that it has been done by me. So that's another win for Mural. This uh, version history is really important, uh, especially when you're collaborating and it works. Now, the final feature that I want to have in a journey mapping tool is the ability to export. Um, and again, Mural has a big button that says export. We can, um, we have a few options, PDF, uh, PNG, zip files. Let's do uh, PNG and okay, this might take a few minutes, but uh, it allows you to export uh, your area uh, of the map. And this allows you to 
print it out, uh, put it on the wall, and maybe two weeks later do another snapshot and put it on the wall and then see visually see what has changed in your map. So this is really good. So now let's dive into some of the pros and cons of Mural that I found. And the first thing, the gen a general remark is that Mural is not a data dedicated journey mapping tool. It's uh, I consider it to be more of an online whiteboard. You can do anything with it. It's a blank canvas that allows you to um, draw and add things that you need. That's why they also offer, offer a huge library of templates uh, and sort of uh, canvases. Um, Mural is super flexible. It can basically do what you need it to do. It, it's a whiteboard. At the same time, this is sort of a disadvantage for you as a customer journey mapping pro because you don't you have to make the structure you need it doesn't guide you in any way there is a blueprint uh, service blueprint template but still you need to come up with what you need of course you can take this uh, mother of all map structure and use that as your starting point but for some people i can imagine that they would like to have a little bit more guidance and uh, yeah that's just not part of Mural. Mural is super flexible, uh, which is great, but also might be a challenge. There are two things uh, in Mural that make it hard for me to see it as a tool to use on a day-to-day -day basis uh, for custom journey mapping. And the two features are, let's dive into my screen again. Um, the first feature is, imagine that we would want to add another card in between buy tickets and park the car. So what we would have to do is we would have to select this card, move it over to somewhere here, then maybe add, move this card over here, and then uh, move this card here, and then you know you get the you have to do a lot of uh, manual moving and resize this one. It's possible, uh, but what if we decided to remove this one? We need to sort of manually put everything back. Again, this isn't a question. If it will happen, your map isn't a static image. It's a it's it's alive, so it will change, it will evolve, and you need to be able to really quickly adapt and make changes. It's possible in mural, but it will take time, and the more complex your map gets, the more shoving and shuffling you'll have to do. That's that's that yeah, that's not really nice the other thing that makes it hard to use mural for more advanced journey mapping is that you don't really have the ability to add meta data in your lanes in your cards like i said we have the option to add comments um this is already a thing but we can't add images in here we can't um uh, define what kind of comment this is and again this isn't a question if you want to add uh, additional details to a card this is like you need to add additional details to your card and mural uh, doesn't really offer that option at least it's the option it offers is really basic there are two things that I like about Mural, uh, and that is the ability to collaborate and share. They make it super easy to do that. Uh, the version history is great, super useful. And the other thing uh, that's a nice to have is like the icon library and it's the image library that we talked about. These could be useful depending on your needs, but these two things are, I think, are a plus and a win for Mural. So when would I recommend to use Mural for your journey mapping projects? Well, if you already have a license uh, on Mural and you're already using it, you're familiar with the interface, it allows you to pretty quickly digitize the results of a workshop. That's, that's where Mural is pretty good for. I wouldn't, I don't, I wouldn't see myself using this on a day-to-day -day basis after a project, after a workshop, because it, Mural makes it quite challenging. It's quite challenging in Mural, uh, that's a better way to phrase it, to update uh, the map and keep it uh, alive. So to make a snapshot to digitize your results of a workshop, that's probably a, a 
pretty good use of Mural if you're already using it. If you want to use it on a day-to-day -day basis, you really have to be dedicated and uh, willing to manually shuffle things around. But as with all these journey mapping tools, my advice is just try them out, give them a go and see if they fit your needs. Mural offers a 30-day free trial and I think the single user license is $12 uh, a month. So that's not huge. You can easily jump in and just play around with it and see if it if it works for you. I'll include the links to Mural down below in the show notes. If you have any questions about Mural that I didn't cover in these two videos, make sure to leave a comment and let's continue the conversation over there. If you want to learn more about customer journey mapping and how to create maps that actually create an impact, check out this playlist over here, uh, which is full of videos that, that are going to help you to do that. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.